Hey guys, Crewman here, and Zealous 2.0 is about to release, and I'm going to do some hash rate testing and tier ranking on the 30 series. We're going to start out with the 3060 Ti, which is in my test bench, the 3060 12 gig in my test bench, followed by a 3060 Ti, a 3070, 3070 Ti, 3080, 90HX, 3090, and a 170HX, which is not pictured. And right here, you can see the rig that I tested it on. I have a camera on the PMD, so you can see exactly how much power these things are taking at the wall. And here's my old FX test bench right here. And this is the 3060, 12 gig was the last one that I actually did some testing on. And again, you won't see the 170HX because they're in my farm and I didn't want to take them out. So now without further ado, let's hear a word from our sponsor and then let's get to the testing. This video is brought to you by me, my channel, Crewman Tech and Mining. Please feel free to like and subscribe and to follow along and take a look at my other videos and also consider becoming a member as it helps me uh, fund the content that I get to you guys that you guys all enjoy. Um, I really appreciate your help. The channel's growing. I'm trying to hit 5,000 members. I've got a lot of great content. So feel free to subscribe, join the Discord, follow me on Twitter. It all helps. So thanks again and let's get back to the video. So, it's going to go downhill from, it's basically going to go downhill from here. We have the best one. Now, this is by far and away the best one. It is the 170HX. Nothing will come close to this. It destroys everything. Um, 400 efficiency. You will watch that nothing will come close at 130 watts and it's using 54, it's getting 54 kilohash. Now, I probably can optimize mine better and these do have the secret BIOS, but they're they're just they're they're nuts they're absolutely incredible and they destroy every gpu that i know of now this video like i said before only covers the 30 series and it absolutely crushes those but it also beats all the 40 series which i'll have in another video probably tomorrow so there's not much to say about these ones i might be able to play with the oc settings on mine a little bit maybe i'll do it at a later date but i'm perfectly happy with Watching them destroy everything as is now. That's that's it. <laughs> that's all there is to that. Now we're going to move on to the 90HX. The 90HX. Now my 90HX is a little weird in the sense that it will only work at uh, memory, uh, memory offset minus 300, core offset minus 100. I don't know why, but it will only work that way. Now I only paid $150 for it a long time ago, so I'm okay with that. But what I'm getting at is it looks like it's not that good its efficiency numbers aren't very good and you can see right here it uses a lot of power especially when we compare it to lower end 30 series gpus so in my opinion the 90hx is a very big meh for mining zealous hash version 2 zealous 2.0 we're calling it if you have 90hx's i probably wouldn't bother i don't think they're going to be profitable the efficiency number is pretty low. So we can call this one uh, kind of a dud for Zealous 2.0. So let's move on to the 3090. Okay, so here's the 3090. And I think you're going to notice a trend with a lot of these higher end GDDR6X 30 series cards. You're going to get to a point where you can't really make them much more efficient. So I tried a few things. The first thing I tried was adding a core offset and it did nothing. It, core offsets really don't matter, um, at least for GDDR6 so far. I tried raising the memory offset and it didn't really do much. I took it up to 1300. It lowered the hash, it lowered the hash rate while lowering the power consumption and it slightly lowered the efficiency. Uh, I got it, it was about 210 efficiency compared to 214 and the power difference was negligible so I would just go for the more efficient one at that rate. Then what I tried is I tried to lower the core lock to 1100 and I tried to raise the memory uh, the memory offset to 1300 and I got less hash and I used maybe like five, five or six watts less. So the efficiency was a lot worse. So this is the best overclocks that I've found for the 3090. In my opinion, the 3090 is better than the 90HX for sure comparing you know efficiency of 145 to 214 but i think as you get to the lower end of the product stack you will kind of see that the higher end 30 series gpus are a big meh on on a zealous compared to those so let's move on to the 3080 now 
All right, so I did a decent amount of testing with the 3080, and I came up with some pretty interesting stuff. Let's start off with what, in my opinion, are the best settings. So right here, you can see core clock lock of 1410, a memory a memory clock lock of five zero of five thousand one a memory offset of thirteen hundred and we're getting about two hundred forty eight on the efficiency 114 watts and twenty eight point three four hash which kilo hash which is a lot better than the 3090 in terms of efficiency as that pot topped out at 214 Something that I found that was interesting, at least for this model, and this is Zotac 3080, if I crank the memory up any more to 1400, I get a crash. If I tried to raise the uh, the core lock to like 1470, the power would go up and the efficiency would drop. The power went up to about 125 watts and the efficiency dropped to about 224. If I tried to drop the memory from 1300 to, or I'm sorry, if I tried to drop the memory offset from 1300 to 1100, it went down to about 26 kilo hash. The power went up to about 160 and the efficiency tanked to 163. So I find that pretty interesting. Uh, I'm surprised. I thought the 3080 would be worse than the 3090 and it's not. So I'm pleasantly surprised saying that this is definitely better than meh. I so now we're going to move down to the uh, entry level GDDR6X card in the 3070. Now I started with the 3080 settings and I did not like where I was at. I was at about an efficiency of 228. So then what I wanted to try was I cranked the offset, the memory offset down to about a thousand. And then I dropped the locked core, the locked core to about 1410. And I didn't really notice much of an efficiency change. So then what I tried to do was I tried to I tried to drop this thing down dramatically. I was like, well, what does a 3070 do? So I dropped this thing down to about 1,070 on the core clock and then 1,000 on the memory offset. And then I had the memory lock at 9,001. And I was I got an efficiency rating of about 240. So I tried dropping the memory clock 100 to 900 and I ended up with still 240 efficiency but using a little bit less power at 20.32 kilo hash. I think that efficiency is the most important right now and it's something that I'm going to focus on more especially since my power rate's about to go up. More on that in a future video. So overall the 3070 Ti is uh, it's better than the 3090 and it's not quite meh. It's uh, it's decent. It's decent. Let me put it that way. If you have them it's probably worth turning on for Zealous 2.0 but I definitely wouldn't buy them if your goal was to mine Zealous on them. All right, so I kind of knew this is where we were going to get to, but it looks like the 3070 is the GOAT. At about, as you can see here, it's using about tw between 20 to 21 kilo hash. It's getting about 70 to 75 watts. It's really nice that you can see on the PMD that the power fluctuation is really, really low. And we're getting an efficiency. I mean, it's floating. Honestly, the efficiency at this point, it floats anywhere from like 285 to like 293 to 295. So I'm just kind of putting it at like two, we're going to put it at 287 actually. We're just going to use a round number. Um, I did try my 3070 Ti settings and they were definitely a little better. One thing I did try to do was I tried to jack up the memory lock to 1470 and it cranked the power up to about 88 watts and killed the efficiency to about 258 which would still be better than anything else out there. Cranking the memory clock down to about a thousand really, really does help. Uh, I don't really understand why, but it, it matters. You want to have the core lock at about, you know, like between 11 to 1200. I think your mileage will vary depending on the GPU. And you can see the efficiency kind of going up and down, which is why I'm talking about this one more. Now I have a feeling that the 3060 Ti will behave exactly the same. And we're going to go do that next. But basically at 290 efficiency, right now the 3070 is the GOAT minus the big elephant in the room, which I will, which I've already spoken about, the 170HX, which is obviously the king. But this is a pretty solid number two in terms of the 30 series so far. So now let's move on to the 3060 Ti. All right, so the 3060 Ti is basically the same as the 3070 to the, to the T, like I thought. You get, uh, honestly, it just depends on the model. I played around with the 3060 Ti, the one I have up there. It's an Asus Co, which is the one I had on my bench. 
Um, I suspect that your efficiency will differ plus or minus depending on the model. Uh, overall, the efficiency is a little bit worse than the 3070, which is to be expected, but not by much. It still blows everything else besides the 170HX out of the water. And it definitely feels kind of like ETH days where, you know, it was like the 3070 and the 3060 Ti, but the 3070 is a little bit better this time. But still, 3060 Ti is pretty good, which is a nice thing to see because the 3060 Ti hasn't been that good at mining something for quite a bit. So that's good. Now, the final one we're going to test is we're going to move down to the 3060 12 gig. I don't think anything else below that is worth mining with. And I'm really interested to see how that one does. So we're going to get to it right now. And last, but certainly not least, we have the 3060 12 gig. It behaves very similarly to the 3080, which is interesting. I tried cranking up the memory offset and it doesn't really do anything but make efficiency worse. So I just kind of left it here. Um, this is okay. You basically have the 3070 and 3060 Ti on one tier and then like everything else on another. Uh, it's not bad, but it's also, whoa, something just happened there i think it crashed okay that was just switching over to zill i don't i i don't have zill overclocks and i got stuck in the zill window so i paid for it um but anyway you can see here the uh the efficiency numbers are they're they're okay they float be well, i'm getting like 265 right now but they generally float between like 247 to 255 they're all right i mean it, you put it you kind of puts it on a tier with the 3080 so it's not amazing but it's not terrible it's definitely like tier three if we were going to tier list this out that's it for testing now let me go over my results real quick okay so here are the results now i did not test the 3080 ti as i don't own one or the 3090 ti as i don't own one but they should test very similar to the 3090 and should basically scale the same so if we're going to rank these right the 170 hx is on a tier of zone it just blows everything out of the water then we've got the 3070 and the 3060 ti they are second to none, basically, but they're on the second tier. They're like A tier, and they're really, really good, and I'm glad I have an entire farm of 3070s and a still have a rig of 3060 Ti's. The 3080 did a lot better than I actually thought, holding its own with the 3060 Ti on like the B tier kind of thing, and then you've got the, you've got the 3090 in C tier and the 90HX in basically D tier. And I probably wouldn't mine with a 3090 or the 90HX unless it's super profitable. Um, but it's interesting that the 3080's efficiency numbers are actually okay. But again, nothing like the Pantheon of the 170HX, 3070, and 3060Ti. And you can see over all the overclock settings here. Uh, the 3080 kind of overclocked a little bit different, but then you can basically see the 3070Ti and below overclocked pretty much the same. There's not that much wiggle room. These things are not that hard to overclock. We have our simple, perhaps maybe way too early tier list, and you've got the 170HX in the top, and basically the, the darker the green you get, the worse off the GPU is. So thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe for more GPU, CPU, and Zealous content. We're going to be pumping out a lot of Zealous 2.0 content this week. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this helps you get ready for tomorrow and look at my guide on how to set, successfully migrate your farm from 1.0 to 2.0 that I just released as well. So thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe. Fruitman is out.